I did somewhat of an abbreviated test here. Actually, the test is the same length, it's just that the video is a little bit shorter. I started this two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Now yesterday, this is with the Batch Stove's BS1 stove. Uh, when I did this yesterday, I got a boil time of 6 minutes 3 seconds, but then it ran out at 6 minutes 37 when it was supposed to stay until about, uh, what, 8 minutes. So I remeasured this, all of the water, I mean all of the water, all of the alcohol, running it again. There we have 211, 212, and 5 minutes 45 seconds, so that was 15 minutes, or 15 seconds faster. Now what I did this time was I was told that I shouldn't wave the stove to try to light the burners, so uh, I just let it burn the way it was and let it catch itself, and that took almost 90 seconds. Uh, not being any breeze in here. So that was, what did I say, 545? Okay, the flames have actually, oh, the flames still going. Yesterday it ran out at 6 minutes 37. Let's see what happens here. Got a nice heavy boil there, it's rocking the pot. Okay, we're at the time from yesterday. Nope, oh, and there it goes again. So 643, let's say, for a run out. Room temperature is 78 degrees, humidity 76, wet, uh, cloudy outside. So that was with 30 milliliters of methanol, measured as close as I can get it. Two cups of water, it's starting at 60 degrees. So I don't know, the test, that's only nine seconds difference as far as boil time from yesterday. That's nothing, but uh, it's another uh, about 10 seconds or so for the run out time. So that's about the same. So I think this is the results that we get from this burner. Again, I think uh, it's a good stove. I mean, that's a good time, but uh, most of the flames are going out over the side of the pot. I'm going to try this with the, the 10 centimeter pot from batch stoves. That's a bit wider. So I think this burner will work better on that. I still think to use this pot, which is a replacement for the Heine pot or for the Foster's beer pot, I think it has to be a single flame coming up from in the middle and then going out over the edges. Uh, I don't know if I have anything that will do that. It won't be a fast flame, but we'll have to see what we can do. So this is basically a repeat of the test I did yesterday. Uh, same amount of water, same amount of methanol, and got pretty close to the same results. So I just wanted to make sure that I didn't do something wrong here. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.